There we go. So it's recording now. Just in case you want a, a copy of the presentation, I'll be happy to, to send that out to you. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is our Mortgage Coach website. And there's a lot of good information on the website. First off, I'd like to point out, you know, you, you got to this webinar, maybe a variety of different ways, but I wanna point out that there are additional training opportunities for you if you'd like more information about Mortgage Coaching. And based upon, you know, the level of where the majority of you are in the workshop, um, I'm gonna recommend that you attend a, an intro to mortgage coach workshop if you have not already done so. This particular workshop is hosted every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So every, every Monday, 9 a.m., um, you're welcome to pop into an intro to mortgage coach and we walk you through the very basics, getting you started in um, you know, how do you get going with mortgage coach. Our, our workshop today, of course, is, you know, how do you leverage the mortgage coach presentation when you're speaking with your clients? How do you paint that picture? How do you use the mortgage coach presentation to differentiate yourself from your competition? And then I'll also point out there's another call. These are all workshops, by the way, that have a, a live mortgage coach representative available conducting the workshop so that you're able to ask, you know, any questions that you may have um, during the workshop, which reminds me, I better get the, uh, the question area teed up. There we go. So I've got the chat and the QA available. So if you have any questions, please, um, you know, don't hesitate to ask them via the chat or the QA area. Okay. Um, so the Thursday QA workshop, um, another great opportunity if you're stuck with something or you just want a little bit more information, like how do I do this or how do I do that? Another great workshop for you. So opportunities for you to, uh, um, to utilize those. And then I'm also going to point out, um, in the, uh, on our, in our mortgage coach website, um, if you come to, again, under lender services here, see where it says mortgage coach strategies, that will help you with, you know, what is this workshop about and explain to you, you know, more information about mortgage coach strategies. What are those golf clubs that are in your golf bag? What, you know, how do I use those? Um, what are those tools in my toolbox? How do I, how do I leverage them? And the real, the thing that I like about these is that you're not only going to like, this one was just added recently and uh, I hope to be able to listen to this particular call, but what it is, is you're going to get our CEO, Dave Savage's interview with the mortgage professionals. And in this case, financial planners that are participating in the workshop. So you're going to get the recording. You're going to get, um, a copy in most cases of the TCA, the total cost analysis presentation that was used in the, in the workshop. Um, and then you're also gonna get to hear the scripting. I think that's very important for you to, to get access to. The reason being is that, you know, a, a, a mortgage coach presentation is a great visual, but you also have to be able to tell the story to really connect with your clients. So scripting is very important. I'm not saying that you have to use their scripting, but listen for the nuggets, um, the nuggets of gold in the scripting that they're using because they have presented the, the presentations multiple times and they know what, you know, what information to share to inspire the right reaction from the borrower. So very valuable to hear not only the scripting, but how the, they're building the, the, the mortgage coach presentation. So multiple examples for you to utilize here. So please take advantage of those resources that are available on the website. Okay. All right. So based upon the feedback that you provided to me, I'm going to go ahead and cover two strategies. One is going to be the refi. And the first one that we're going to do. And then the next one that we're going to do is we're going to do the move up buyer. 
So those were the two most requested ones um, to connect with your clients. Okay, so let me go into my mortgage coach advice engine. And let me sign into the correct account here. I was just on another workshop prior to this one. So that's why I was a little bit late, my apologies. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the link to this presentation. This is my refinance one. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. And I'm gonna take the link to this presentation. I'm gonna put it in the chat area for you folks. And my, my reason for doing that is two, two purposes, two reasons behind that. My first reason is that I want you folks to have the borrower experience so that you understand how you can utilize a feature that we call live reporting with your client. And then my second, um, second reason for sharing the presentation to you in the chat area is that you might take a look at this and go, you know what, this is something that I can use in my business and I would like a copy of it so that I could use it and build, um, build the presentation, a similar one for my borrowers. So let me come in here and I'm gonna take the link and I'm gonna drop it in the, the chat area. Oh, hey, we have a guest. Look at this, who just popped in the workshop. We got our CEO, Dave Savage. Hey, Brian and everybody, how you doing? I don't wanna cut you off. I just thought I'd poke in for a few minutes. If uh, anybody has a question or comment for me, let me know and I'll see if I can add some color at some point, Brian, and then I've gotta jump in about 10 minutes. Okay, perfect. Well, good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna take that link as I promised and, um, and put it in the chat area for you folks. So two purposes, keep that in mind. So the quicker that everybody clicks on that link, you're gonna get access to the presentation. And then um, also, like I said, you're gonna have the borrower experience as they view the presentation. Okay, let me go ahead and um, get this teed up and ready to go. And when you send the presentation to a borrower, just like the link that I placed in the chat area, once they click on that link, you're gonna get an alert, of, alert notification sent to you. Like right now, see up here in the top right hand corner, see where it says views to? I know two people within the workshop have followed the instruction. And I know there's more than two people in the workshop today. So let's see if we can get a few more people to follow those instructions. All you have to do is locate the chat area, click on the hyperlink, you'll see it, it ends in 04D, there we go third person has done that. And let me put a little bit of color around how you could um, how you could use this. When you go to send a presentation to your borrower, what you can do is personalize the hyperlink before you send it off to them. So here's the hyperlink that you would typically use to send to your client, just like what I've shared in the chat area for you folks. So, um, I'll put this in the uh, in the chat link here for you again. Looks like there we have a person done. There we go. There you go. There's the link that I want you to uh, to click on. Okay. All right. So let's say that you have a meeting with your client in um, in uh, three o'clock at three o'clock this afternoon. What you can do be before that meeting, of course, get your get your presentation all teed up, ready to go. And then just prior to your meeting at three o'clock, send them the link to the total cost analysis. And the reason I'm saying just prior to it is that you wanna to meet to them and present the loan options to them while you've got them on the phone with you. So whether you're doing it with, you know, over the telephone, a lot of you may be using a webinar, just like what we're doing today, using Zoom, WebEx, go to webinar. Um, you know, we've got the new COVID-19 environment. How can you work more efficiently in presenting mortgage options with your clients? So if you're sending it to them via, via email, ask them to open up the link while you've got them on the phone. And what you may wanna do before you send it to them is like I said, personalize it. So let's say I'm working with the Smith family. You can go ahead and type this out, Smith family mortgage plan. And you could 
change this, this text that I've got right here using Outlook. I've just highlighted the text that I want to change into the hyperlink. You can see right here I'm using hyperlink. And I'm going to drop that link in the address there. Now my borrower simply has to click on this rather than that to view the mortgage coach presentation. You can see once I click on it, it drives the presentation. And it will also generate an alert notification to you as the mortgage professional. And this could be very helpful for you because maybe you've been chasing that borrower and you want to, you know, you want to get that confirmation that they, that they actually received it. Anytime that the borrower clicks on that link, you'll get an alert notification. Let me show you what an alert notification looks like here real quick for those of you that um, may not be aware of it. And again, this is something that's new. It's, it's now triggered when the borrower first accesses the link. This is an example of what the new alerts look like. So you'll get this every time that the borrower clicks on your link and they may be available. So if speed to contact is important for you, when you give them a call, they may still be on the phone viewing the presentation. Okay, so keep that in mind. Personalize the presentation before you, the link before you send it off to them. That'll help you with you know, getting them to click on the link. And then once they've clicked on the link, as I've demonstrated before, you could see up here in the top right-hand corner, We've got six people now that have viewed it and you can begin walking them through the presentation. So let me get this teed up here and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead, make some changes here real quick. Look where I'm clicking in these because I want you folks to pay attention where I'm clicking to make the changes on the presentation. So I'm going to remove the color from this particular product option and click next. So now when my borrower views the presentation, they're gonna see two product options. This third option is gonna disappear here in just a second. So now they're gonna see the current loan and my first product option that I'm gonna present to them. So looking at the first product option, you can go ahead and maybe start off the conversation and confirm. See how I clicked up here where it says current? It's highlighted all the details within that product option but maybe I wanna confirm that I do in fact have the accurate details about their current loan before going ahead and presenting the, the loan options to them. So folks, as I am highlighting these key details, the six of you that have clicked on the link are having the borrower experience and are also seeing these highlight in live time. So now I can go ahead and point out the benefits of my first product option that I would like to present to the borrower. And it's pretty easy to see here, right? Everybody can see this. The benefit in refinancing is that they will increase their monthly cash flow by going to the lower interest rate, including all the closing costs in the loan, zero out of pocket, they're gonna increase their monthly cash flow by almost $290. So one of the things that that we emphasize here at Mortgage Coach is when you provide a borrower, when you're working with a borrower, we emphasize that you always want to provide the borrower, we call it the three essentials of making smart mortgage decisions, that you always provide the borrower with mortgage options. You've got to give them options so that they can make an informed decision, but also to help you build trust with them help you build trust and help you with your conversion once you're building that trust with them. So providing mortgage options is, is very important because if you only provide them with one option, you're putting your borrower in a position where they can only respond in one of two ways, either yes or no. And you really don't want to put, you know, risk putting the borrower in that position, what you want to do is provide them options and take a look at the second option that I'm going to bring up right now. This is a conversation that you can have with your borrower. Rate options, right? That's one of the easiest ways to present multiple options to your borrower and have a conversation with them and also illustrate to them that you can provide them with any interest rate if it makes sense for them. So here's cash flow option two. You can see 
we're providing them with a lower interest rate. It's going to help them increase their monthly savings. They're going to save an additional, was it about $31? Um, but with that, you can see that their loan amount is going to be a little bit greater than the first option. And they're going to have to pay some additional costs to be able to get that. That's where you can utilize these additional areas to point out, is it going to benefit them based upon the time horizon that they're going to be in the home? If they're only going to be in the house 28 months, well, the first option is probably going to be better for them, right? Because they're going to have a greater savings with a shorter time horizon. Obviously, the longer that they're in the house, the more beneficial it may be for them to, to pay a little bit more to get that, that lower interest rate. And if you take a look at, this is the really big picture. And what we call this is, we call this creating a star moment with your borrower. You want to write that down, the acronym STAR, S-T-A-R. Show them something that they will always remember. Because if the more times during a, a loan presentation with your client that you're able to create these STAR moments, the more it's going to help you with your conversion. You're creating a, a WOW moment with your borrower. So you're going to utilize Mortgage Coach, the technology to create the WOW with them, but you're also using the platform to paint the picture so that you're showing and telling. So take a look at this picture down here. Here's the borrower's current loan. You can see that they're going to pay it off their current loan in a little over, a little under 28 years. But if they utilize either refinance option, they're going to save a tremendous amount of money over the full life of the loan. I've got it set at 30 years. You could set it at 15 years, 20 years, just by coming into the advice engine, coming into the analysis area here, long-term analysis area right here, 30 years. Let's put it at say 28 years because we know it's going to take the borrower at least that long to pay off their existing loan, right? And then you could point out the savings to them over how, you know, how much, how important is it? Um, you know, would you, would you like me to show you how you can save, um, you know, eighty, ninety thousand dollars in interest over the life of your loan? Most people aren't going to say no to that, right? Most people, when you ask them a question like that, they're going to say yes. They'll listen to you. This is why you use Mortgage Coach to paint that picture for them. So that's one strategy that you can utilize, provide with different rate options. Now I'm gonna switch gears and I'm gonna go from cash flow. Let's have a conversation and show them how they can use the mortgage as a financial tool so that they're smarter and the mortgage is working harder for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show them how by making the same payment that they may be making now, it'll help them become debt free more quickly. So again, I've made the adjustment. The borrower is now going to see that, see how the payment's similar here to what their current loan is? So the savings is gonna be zero, but this is the, the, the star moment that you have your conversation with your borrower. Look how much sooner they will pay the mortgage off. They'll pay the loan off in, what is that, about five years? More quickly. And this is the real well factor over here. So this is the amount of interest that you're going to pay in 28 years, Mr. and Mrs. Borrower. But if you refinance and make the same payment that you may be very comfortable with, you know, you've got it, that auto payment set up. It's automatically coming out of your bank account. Look how much interest that you can save. Now we're talking about a savings of almost $130,000 over the life of the loan. So you're, you're not only telling them, but you're showing them and you're using these areas to create a wow moment or a star moment with your borrower. So same payment. Um, anybody in the workshop working with financial advisors, anybody in the workshop working with financial advisors, if you can raise your hand, there's a little hand icon in the, uh, the chat area. If we have anybody that does. Okay, hey, if you're not Brian, working with financial Brian, advisors. Hey Brian, I gotta jump in a minute, but I wanted to share something real quick. Uh, and, and just a heads up to everybody, I did yesterday's call was focused on financial advisors with Ryan Grant. So if anyone wants to really drill down on that in a little more detail, 
check out yesterday's interview with Ryan Grant. Uh, what, what you're seeing right now, Brian, have you shown this slide at all today? Um, I just showed the first um, option and I was going to go ahead and show the second, the second one, but yes, please go ahead. I'm going to put that in the chat area for everybody as well. This slide? Like have they seen this slide? Yeah, they've seen the slide. Okay, cool. So I, I just wanted to emphasize, and I didn't hear what Brian said, so if I'm repeating it, apologies, but I think it's important enough to not just repeat, but talk about over and over. I would even urge you to print this out and put it in your workspace. I have a lot of loan officers that add this to their presentation so that it's part of your, you know, um, borrower consultation. Because uh, it's all about educating the client on how to make a smart mortgage decision. And the thing is that these three things, 95% of loan officers in America don't do. And, and every family, 95% of every family that ever hears about these three things, intuitively gets it. It's common sense. So, so literally, once they're exposed to these are the three things to make a smart mortgage decision, every fee worksheet loan officer that's not giving comparisons, that's not showing the cost of different loans over periods of time, and isn't showing strategies to present in the mortgage, one, two, and three, looks like the villain. It, they, that loan officer looks like they're hiding something. And then that also, these are the three things that every mortgage strategy um, that you could possibly learn. So when you think about what does it take to be a black belt at Mortgage Coach, every single one of these strategies has these three things in common. So uh, I wanna show that slide real quick. Uh, and Brian, did you show this black belt um, slide at all? Had they seen this? No, that would be a good one, Dave. Yeah, so, so a lot of what you're learning for Brian in this, it's, it's the basics, it's those three fundamentals, and then it's, you, you see in the middle, there's an advice star. Uh, that applies to every strategy. And then around this circle are all the different mortgage strategies that you need to know to be a black belt at mortgage advice and to, and to be the most successful, most effective loan officer you could possibly be. So uh, Brian, what, it sounds like you've done a rate and term refi so far. Um, what other strategies have you covered so far? The next most requested one that we're going to transition to is the, uh, the move up buyer. That was next on the list. Yeah. And that's a super hot strategy in today's market. There's a lot of folks that, um, they could sell their home that they're in. They could put some money in the bank. They could buy a bigger home. So build more wealth with real estate faster over time and have more money in the bank. So uh, that is a super hot strategy. Also be on the lookout. We're going to be doing um, a lot of webinars and creating a lot of content on mortgage coach loan officers that are not only doing the move up TCA, but, or the cost of waiting TCA, but they're also doing a webinar with realtors and their clients uh, teaching us the borrowers. So keep an eye on the community for that. So uh, I'll hand it back to you, Brian. If anybody does have a question for me, uh, I'll stay for one more minute just to make sure there's no questions. And then I'll, I'll let you keep rocking, Brian. Perfect. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for popping in. Good to see you. It's been a little while since we saw you. <laughs> Busy guy. No problem, man. All right. Um, and of course, now would be the time before Dave jumps. If you, if you have any last minute questions, please make sure you get those in for Dave. Um, I do see a question in the, uh, the chat area for me that I'm going to be covering here in a few seconds from Don. Thanks for asking that. Um, not a weird question. Happy to answer those questions. And then also, as I pointed out, um, you know, there's a th Thursday QA. So whenever you have a question like Don proposed, great opportunity, or you can reach out to our support team, um, either via email or chat. Um, support at mortgagecoach.com or the little chat icon that some of you might have noticed if you log into the advice engine located right down here in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, um, real quickly, um, while Dave still may be on the call, if you have any questions for him, but um, Don's question was in regards to the payment note area. And um, if you made some changes, Don, are you part of, what company do you work with first off? Because you may actually need to, yeah, so you're with Fairway. I'm wondering if they maybe have it locked down where you, you know, you can't make any changes to it. I'm not familiar with that account. Probably the best thing, Don, just so that, you know, I'm not, um, you know, 
sending you down a rabbit hole um, would be to reach out to our support team because they'll be able to determine right off the bat if something may be locked down that would prevent you from being able to make a change that would be, as you said, stick. Um, so I would reach out either chat or um, support at Mortgage Coach and they're available Monday through fri Friday from seven to four. Or if you want, um, your customer success manager is gonna be doing the Thursday QA workshop tomorrow at 9 a.m. That's Tina um, Bradford. Um, she'll be happy to, uh, she's very familiar with your fairway account and be able to tell you right off the bat, most likely. So, okay. All right. So, um, my question to you folks, for those of you that, um, are working with financial advisors, there's another way. If you look at the presentation right now, you know, this, this presentation is geared towards having a conversation. The strategy is geared towards having a conversation with your borrowers, how they can use the mortgage as a financial tool. They are smarter, the mortgage is working harder, right? They're smarter for making the decision to, to do the refinance and take advantage of the, the current market conditions. If you're, if you're working with financial advisors or if you want to um, work with financial advisors, here's a way that you can use Mortgage Coach in a refi scenario to engage those uh, financial advisors. So once again, I'm gonna come into the advice engine here where it says presentation, and I'm gonna remove the same payments. I'm gonna leave the cash flow option so that they could see what they could take advantage of in, in refinancing, but now I'm gonna add a third product here which is labeled investments. So again, as I'm making these changes on the fly, it's gonna be updating the presentation while I'm having that conversation with my borrower. So now they're gonna see the borrowers, they're gonna see their current loan, the cash flow, and then this one that's labeled investments. Now the thing that's different about this investment option is if you take a look, they're still gonna be making the same payment as they, was, as they were before on their existing loan, right? They're still gonna be making that same payment um, and they're gonna have, they're gonna, they're gonna reset the clock on the new mortgage to 30 years. But the thing that's different is they're gonna be taking money be putting that, that savings and they're gonna be putting that into an investment account at a certain rate of return where you get the advice from that financial advisor. So if you take a look down here, see this, this uh, analysis area, it says interest in 28 years. That's not a very effective picture when you're having a conversation about building net worth with your borrower, right? So what you do is you go into the advice engine come over here to the analysis and change the um, long-term chart type from interest in MI to net worth. So we wanna show the borrower based upon their time horizon, how they can accumulate net worth to help them achieve some type of life event that may be occurring in the future. Maybe their goal in refinancing is to plan for a college education for a newborn that is going to be of college age in 18 years. So what we're going to do now, again, in the, the uh, adjust reinvestment strategy button right here, this is in the analysis area. This is uh, a button that's available for you. You can see here's the borrower's current loan. Here's the cash flow example. And you see the 289.92. That's the savings that they're getting from doing the refinance. Here's the same payment where I took that savings of 289.92 and put it in this box right here where it says reduction payment. That helped the borrower pay off their loan um, more quickly. It got them down to a freedom point. Freedom point is when they paid off the loan to 22.58 years. Now here, what we're gonna do with the investment is we're gonna take that that savings, in this case, and the savings is gonna be 26302, and we're gonna put it into an investment account on a monthly basis, rate of return, 6% upon the advice of the financial advisor. Some of you might be saying, oh, that's too high. Some, some of you might be saying, <coughs> that's too conservative. Um, and I am showing my screen, right? Ah, I don't think I'm sharing my screen. Let me. I've made that mistake a couple times here. You guys are supposed to catch me on that. 
it just hit me that I probably wasn't sharing my screen. Now I'm sharing it. Okay, let me go back. Okay, cool. Um, here's the presentation. Okay, I switched the product options. I think some of you might have been clicking on the link and um, seeing it on your screen, but um, now you can see um, see on both, see the webinar and and the link. Um, but I've, I'm painting the picture. I've changed the long-term analysis uh, chart type to net worth, and I changed the time horizon to 18 years. I clicked on this button where it says adjust reinvestment strategy, and I put in 6% here for the rate of return. And um, after 18 years, this particular borrower would have over $100,000 in their account, in that investment account. So this is a great way for you to tie in those, those um, financial advisors into the conversation with the borrower, refer them business, or your borrower may have a financial advisor that you would like to form a relationship with and you get their advice, right? So what does that look like for the borrower on the mortgage coach presentation? Let's take a look here. So once again, Taking a look at the presentation, I'm going to click off of that. See how there's two colors? The green represents the property appreciation and the gold represents the asset accumulation. Your borrower can click over here in the more info area. And then this is where they could see specifically either the value of the asset accumulation or the, uh, the property appreciation. The combination of the two minus the loan balance gives them their, their net worth or their equity position, their total equity position. So I'm not saying that you have to have a conversation like this with every single borrower. Use the tool or the club when it fits the situation. But having these strategies uh, teed up and ready to go so that you can have these conversations with your borrowers. And like I said, I placed the link to this presentation in the chat area. And my promise to you is I won't um, delete the link. So that way, if there's something in there that will help you in a conversation to your borrower, you'll be able to utilize it. So I'm going to make all of the product options available. And um, that way, those of you that have clicked on the link have access to it and you'll be able to, like I said, if you want to copy that or build something similar in your mortgage coach account, um, more than welcome to do so. Okay. Any questions about how to utilize this, uh, this refi strategy before we move on? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, there was a question there. Yes. I must have can you re-explain the math you mentioned about, um, about, oh, net worth. Okay. All right. So let's actually click down here in the, uh, in the box here. Okay. So you can see their net worth is, let's see, an investment. So let me clear out all the highlights here so it's not confusing. So here's the property appreciation. So, and you can see that I have a 4% property appreciation rate. That's gonna be the same across the board. Their loan balance will vary depending upon, you know, which option they select. The same payment, of course, they're accelerating um, how quickly they're paying off the mortgage. So their loan balance is gonna be less here. This is the amount of principal and interest that they paid, their total amount of um, PITI payments that they've made. But this is the investment balance. So if you take and add the investment balance plus the home value um, and you deduct what their loan balance is, that's going to give them their net, net worth position. So this plus that minus the loan balance will give them their net worth position. So I think that probably helped you with the, uh, the question there. And you can see your borrower has the ability, once you send them the total cost analysis, to click on any one of these areas and click more info and get those details and get those details. 
Um, let's see here. Jackson had a follow-up. Is there an option for debt consolidation and applying savings to a new mortgage? Um, Jackson, you you became a mortgage coach member um, at a, at the right time because I believe it's actually this month we are going to be releasing a debt consolidation presentation. And if you'd like a preview of it, our president, Joe Pator, gave a, um, a preview of it. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, folks, highly encourage you to do that. Um, subscribe to it. That way you're going to get all the, uh, the, the latest, you know, videos or interviews that Dave did. He said that he interviewed um, yesterday, this particular one, how to work with uh, CPAs and financial planners. But um, our president, Joe Pator, did one um, about a month ago, What's New with Mortgage Coach? And um, he gave you a preview of the new debt consolidation presentation. So you're going to be able to show people by paying off installment loans, credit cards, um, how it can you know, help them save, save money, interests, monthly payments. I mean, it's, it's, I was... I was wowed. I haven't seen something like that in, in a while. So yeah, you could t you, you're going to be able to show them and then take that money and show them how they can pay off debt. Um, absolutely. So yes. And right now you don't even have to wait for that. Um, um, Jackson, you could, in this presentation, if we were using, using the refi, maybe they were going to take cash out and, um, and pay off debt. Just as you mentioned, there's ways of doing it right now. Um, so you don't even have to wait, but you're, I think you're going to be impressed here in just a, a matter of a few weeks um, and have that coming out. Okay. All right. So now I want to make sure that I cover at least a couple strategies. And, you know, if you have a strategy that you would like me to help you with, don't hesitate to, uh, to ask, but I want to show the, the move up buyer strategy. Let me go ahead and, and um, come back into my database here. And the move up buyer strategy is, is very relevant, especially in today's market. Let me go ahead and do a search for it. Um, the reason being is that, you know, people, I mean, we're, we're at a point right now where, you know, I'm not gonna say in every area, but in a lot of areas, like here in Southern California, equity is, is still continuing to grow. Um, property, our people have, you know, gotten a lot of appreciation over the last three, four, five years. Um, rates are at historic lows. So the way that you could utilize this particular strategy, and, and once again, I'm gonna do a preview of it, and I will put the link to this presentation in the, uh, the chat area for you folks to use. Let me go ahead and drop that in there once it pops up and I'll walk you through how you could use this, uh, this presentation. So this one ends in 7TJ. There we go. So if you'd like to click on that, you're more than welcome. So that way you have access to it if it's a presentation that you would like to use. So let me, let me provide you with a little bit of color how you could use the presentation and I'm gonna tee it up here. So the way that you wanna do leverage this particular presentation is let's say that you're encountering a borrower that Maybe there's no benefit for them in refinancing for some reason. I, I kind of find it hard to believe, but maybe there's no benefit in refinancing and maybe they're ready for a life event. Maybe they're at an, at a point in their life where they need to kind of open up their, their viewpoint. Maybe it's time for them to look at moving up rather than looking at refinancing or taking cash out and improving their, their existing home, maybe it's time for them to actually move up to a home um, that may be in a better school district, uh, another bedroom for um, a child, another child, um, 
Maybe they're acting to move down. There's a variety of different ways that you can use this presentation. The picture that I'm painting here is that this particular borrower has a, has a home that has a value in the current market of $550,000. Um, and they've got a higher than market interest rate. They could, they could definitely take advantage of a lower interest rate. But the picture that I'm painting here is that they could get a, a home that is worth $65,000 more in value, take advantage of the lower interest rates, and actually end up with a payment that is very comparable to what they currently have right now. And to achieve that, what they're gonna do is they're gonna sell their existing home, use the equity that they have as a down payment in the new home, and you can see it requires them to bring in very little cash to close. So this is the ideal scenario for a move up buyer where they're gonna be able to achieve maybe their dream home and end up with the same payment. So when you're encountering a situation with a borrower that maybe it doesn't make sense for them to refinance, think about maybe, or maybe they've already shared with you that they're, that they're concern, considering refinancing or possibly you know, buying another home. This is a way that you can illustrate to them, you know, how much is their payment really going to change? This is also a great way for you to work with your realtor partners and help them with their database, utilizing their database to reach out to clients that they've served that may be key candidates, ideal candidates due to a life event that has occurred, maybe a third, a second child, first child, whatever the case is, and they just need more space. They need um, a home with a swimming pool in the backyard, a home in a better school district, a bigger home, whatever the case is, whatever life event, you can contact your realtors, show them this presentation, get them thinking about the ideal candidates that are within their existing database that maybe they helped with the purchase transaction three, four, five years ago that may now be ideal candidates to look at this. So you're gonna be helping them manage their database. You're gonna be getting the business by completing the loan and presenting to, the, to your mutual client. They're gonna, what's, what's in it for the realtor? You might be asking, okay, well, what's in it for the realtor? How are you gonna, um, have them understand and allow you to access their database and present to, you know, their past clients. Well, you might've heard me earlier to, to, to move up. They have to do what? They have to use the equity in their existing home. So they have to sell their existing home. That's a commission for the realtor, right? That same realtor could potentially be the person that helps them with the purchase transaction. So that's actually two commissions for the realtor. So you benefit by doing the mortgage transaction and helping the realtor in utilizing their existing database. They benefit by potentially earning one, if not two commissions from the transaction by just managing their database and allowing you access to it to, to do that. So it's a great way, great project for you. If you're not too busy already, you probably aren't so busy right now, but Something for you to think about if you have the, the ability to, um, you know, work with your realtors, your, your top realtors, and help them be more successful in utilizing their database. So this is a $65,000 increase in price. And you can go in steps, right? Because maybe it's $65,000 isn't going to get it done. Maybe they need to increase um, a full $100,000. So now what you're going to be able to do is show them by increasing um, the price point by $100,000 from what they currently have, what is the net effect on their monthly payment? So here again, if they want to utilize all the equity, they're not going to have to come in with much cash to close, but their payment will increase by about $195. 
And if you stop and think about it for a second, somebody that bought a home four or five years ago, based upon you know their their um, professional life, may now be in a position where their income has increased, and one hundred and ninety five dollars is nothing if they can get a third bedroom and not have to listen to their teenage daughters fight over space um, in the morning, or maybe, you know, get that, uh, that home with the, uh, the backyard, the entertainer's backyard or whatever the case is. So this is an increase of a uh, hundred thousand dollars. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm just increasing it by whatever might be the, um, the, the figure that, provides them with, you know, a comfortable payment along with being able to achieve the home that they're, that they're looking to do. So just another strategy that you could utilize um, to help you become more sec successful and also to help your realtor partners become more successful, right? You're adding value to them as well. And here you're showing, you know, net worth. You're using this area to paint the picture. Yeah, you could stay in your home, you know, for the next 30 years and you're going to, you're definitely going to appreciate, you'll have your loan paid off. Um, but look how much more equity you would have if you move up to a dream home and utilize that, um, you know, almost what is that? Um, three, yeah, it's about $300,000 more in, in net worth um, by moving up. So there you go. I'm gonna, we're gonna go into wrap up mode here and I just wanna make sure that I answer any questions that you have. If there's another strategy, another scenario that you would like help on, be happy to help you with that. Just go ahead and use the chat area. Um, and if you'd like a copy of this, uh, this webinar that we just completed, uh, let me know that as well. I'll be happy to make sure that, uh, that I, I send you the copy of the recording also. Okay, perfect. Deborah, I'll definitely get a copy to you. Okay, looks like most everybody's asking for a copy. So I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll just send it out to everybody that was in attendance today. But, you know, it's, it's about the whole purpose of this workshop is to, you know, help you utilize the tool that you've chosen or your company's chosen to invest in for you. Um, use the platform so that you're you're presenting mortgage options to your clients, of course, but you're doing it in a way that differentiates yourself from your competition so that it helps your borrower understand they're seeing the picture, they're, they're hearing the picture um, that you're painting to them, but it's also differentiating you from your comp competition. I mean, anytime that you're able to create a star moment with your borrower, um, show them something that they, they'll always remember you for, um, helps you with your conversion, right? Helps you stand out, um, against the competition. So there you go. Um, hope that helped you out. Yeah. Everybody, everybody pretty much wanted a copy. So I'll make sure that everybody with intense, um, gets a copy of it. Also, um, that link to the three essentials of, of, of mortgage decisions, that's in the chat area as well. Um, I hope you got that out there as well. I would just, like I said, Dave, Dave said, print that out. Definitely print that out just so that you have that in your mind when you're presenting loan options. You know, how can you use that to help paint that picture with your bar? I'm just going to put it one more time in case you guys missed it. There you go. Um, so there you go. Remember the additional resources that you have. Um, please join or subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're keeping up to date as well as the Facebook group. Um, we actually have a mortgage coach productivity mastermind Facebook group. Um, let me put the link to that in the chat area for you folks as well. So that way, you know, you have all the different resources that are available to you. And this is a dedicated community um, to help you be more successful. I'll just go ahead and put that in there as well to help you locate it. But it's real easy once you sign into to Facebook. Um, that'll direct you to it. Put the request in. We'll get you um, part of the group. We have 
almost over 10,000 um, people in the productivity mastermind group. Um, and like I said, not only are you going to um, hear from me, hear from the other mortgage coach people, but you're also gonna hear from the people that are actually in the field putting it in play right now. All right, guys, it uh, looks like we're clear. I don't have any additional questions. Um, hope you folks have a successful week and um, have, a, have a great uh, great afternoon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care, bye-bye.